हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कंप्यूटर क्लास सी चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स वी हैव सीन एन लेविंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन इन टू वीडियोस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट दिस मींस वी वांट टू एनहांस आवर पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन सो थ्रू एनिमेशन टैब and giving transition different effects to the slides text and the objects we can enhance our slides we can enhance our presentation all that we have learned now today we will see the activity about this now the activity which is there that is on page number 44 okay first you have to open the microsoft powerpoint uh, 2007 application for that you have to click on start button all programs then ms office option and from that again a drop down menu will come from there you have to open microsoft office powerpoint 2007 now in this case powerpoint application will display a blank presentation when 2007 application is there the first screen which is shown with the red arrow like that blank presentation you have to open but if you have higher versions of powerpoints you will get like this screen which is there at the bottom of the screen so here you have to click on the blank presentation after opening blank presentation what you have to do next so you have to uh, click with the means we have to select the slide title slide now here you have to uh, click the title slide uh, if it is title title and content will do no problem so here you have to type the text which is given in the book so prepare your slide as shown in the slide 1 that is keys and if you are selecting title only so you have to add a text box uh, extra text box here otherwise title and uh, subtitle slide you select here i have selected title slide so i am giving uh, sub uh, subtitle that is a text box i am entering and here you have to give the Uh, text which is given in the slide to prosperity and success okay you have to type it here in the text box after that insert a new slide with the bulleted list that is title and content slide how to insert a slide now in the home tab in the slides group there is a button new slide click on that slide and a layout will uh, get displayed on the screen out of that title and content this uh, layout you select so the second slide will get inserted and in the second slide in the title placeholder you type uh, keys r and for the content you type the text which is given again the against the bulleted list that is uh, live life fully uh, foolish not foolishly honesty and patience handling uh, tensions and worries discipline do what you love and love what you do all these points you have to Okay. After that, you have to save your presentation with the name "Keys to Success." How to save the presentation? For that, first thing you have to click on the Office button. Select the Save option. You will get a dialog box. Now, if uh, uh, you are having higher versions of PowerPoint, you have to click on Save option. file you have to click on file then select save option and uh, select browse option and select the destination where you want to save the file in the dialog box you have to give the destination after giving destination you have to type the file name see it is shown here with the red arrow all of you know how to save correct and click on the save button so file will get saved it will not get closed it will remain open but it will get saved now first slide means our cursor was means our con computer control was there on the second slide we'll use page up key to move our control to the first slide see page up key all of you know where it is it is on the keyboard so either with the help of mouse or with the help of page up key you move your control to the first slide correct now here in the first slide apply required design and uh, uh, theme design by choosing a theme from the design tab see here with the red uh, uh, arrow uh, design tab is shown and the theme here it is a theme also shown 
now anything which is uh, uh, suitable you can apply okay uh, see here the theme which is selected I have uh, shown with the red arrow so this theme so this color and this design for the slide you will get displayed and it is getting applied now next is apply formatting effects like font font size and all this font font size all this you are going to uh, select okay now here font size how from where to select font size or from where to select the font or from where to select the color so green color is selected font size is accordingly uh, selected all that you just uh, see to it here font is uh, britannic bold and size is 32 and color is green like this it is selected it is up to you any color you select any size you select any font you select according to your wish okay for the slide now after that we have to choose the animation tab and go to the transition to the slide group now here uh, this is uh, i am having a higher version so i don't have the anime means i have the animation tab but transition effect is not in the animation tab it is in the transition tab shown and uh, transition to this slide group the same group you have to select and there uh, you have to select the uh, transition how you want the uh, slide should be transited okay transition to slides group you have to select the transition here it is uh, told that you have to select shape diamond effect from the displayed choices many choices you will get displayed for the from for the transition but here we have used curtains effect okay so you can use any effect no problem not only shape diamond okay so here curtain uh, effect i have uh, shown you the uh, screen curtain means fully the curtain is getting open for the slide that is the curtain effect see somewhat you can see on the screen correct now next is transition speed you can give whenever it is 2007 and the other versions 2010 but here uh, you can select the slow option it is beside this uh, transition to this slide group only but transition sound transition speed is there there from there you select the uh, click on the speed it will show you three options out of that select select slow option and if you are having higher version duration of the transition is given there you select the time okay now after that from the advanced slide section in the same tab same group but advanced slide section click on on mouse click checkbox to unmark it generally on mouse click it is tick marked generally we are uh, going ahead with the slides in the presentation with, with mouse click but here we don't want the mouse click to be happen we want the uh, we want to give the time specific time for each slide so here uh, we have to unmark the checkbox for that see it is given advanced slide section is given and the second arrow it is showing on mouse click button there you just click once that tick will get removed and now after that click on the automatically after checkbox and select five seconds in the box see it is below that only on mouse click below that only it is given after after five seconds you have to uh, means the slide will get automatically changed by applying this option okay now all this we have applied for the uh, uh, first slide or second slide same thing means uh, we have to uh, we have applied this for the first slide then click on page down key and apply this for the second slide page down key all of you know if you have applied all this um, uh, effects for the second slide first then use page up key and apply all this uh, effects for the first slide 
okay it is uh, not mandatory that you have to give the effects for the first slide first then second slide first no not like that okay so for both the slides you have to apply the effect correct now after that apply all transitions effect speed time to it the first or a second slide means the another slide and then now we have to see the animation okay for this choose animation custom animation the custom animation task pan appears select the title placeholder now whenever you are having version 2007 you have to click on the animation tab custom animation option and the custom animation task pan appears on the right hand side but here when you are having the some uh, higher versions of powerpoint you don't have the custom animation option but in animation tab itself there is a animation task pan uh, option is given click on that the task pan will appear on the uh, right hand side of the screen and for which animation you want to apply uh, select that text here we are selecting the title placeholder okay after selecting that click on add effects add effects button is there um, in the animation tab so uh, click on that button it will show you the options for entrance emphasis exit okay so uh, uh, for select emphasis option here it is shown with the red arrow emphasis option now select flicker option from more effects see more effects button is there click on that and you will get another uh, option out of that click on uh, from more effects you click the flicker option but if you don't have flicker option any other option you can try okay uh, if you don't have uh, flicker option uh, click on any other option and after that click on play button to see the preview how it will happen how it will look like see the play button is there on the uh, in the um, uh, animation pan click on that you will get the preview of it okay now at the end you have to save the presentation after giving all the effects animation effect transition effects then font effects all everything to the presentation you have to save the presentation there are uh, uh, different ways you can save the presentation one way is that you can use the quick access toolbar save button see which is shown here on the uh, top screen uh, with the red, black circle and red arrow see that is quick access toolbar out of that the save button you have to click to, uh, select otherwise next is that you have to click on the office button click on save option already you have given the name for the file name for the presentation so here simply no need it will not ask you the name again but it will save your presentation i hope all of you have understood the activity try to do the activity properly and try to learn and whenever you will get uh, your uh, worksheets or notes try to complete it and uh, those who have not sub submitted computer projects try to submit it as early as possible okay bye then thank you